My name is Joy Mangano, and I'm an inventor, a product designer. I am an on-air celebrity with that product in this electronic retailing industry. I am an entrepreneur, and beyond that, I'm a mother and part of a wonderful family, which is part of a wonderful business. So it kind of all comes together. Being the inspiration to this amazing story, this amazing journey of joy was the end all for me. And I have to say personally, the time spent being part of and observing where David took that through all the hundreds of hours of conversation was a life lesson for me. To absorb the fact that Jennifer Lawrence is being inspired by my life is very hard to do. Um, having met her, until you meet Jennifer, you see her on the screen and you think, what an amazing talent. But when you meet her, she's additionally shockingly brilliant and so professional and focused on who she is and what she does. I was so impressed with Jennifer Lawrence, I cannot tell you. How do you describe meeting Robert De Niro? He, you fall in love. The, after, I don't know how many minutes it has to be, but he is one of those special, amazingly talented people that just leave an indelible mark on you. So to meet him knowing that he was playing a role of my father um, it was amazing. It really was amazing. And he was sitting in this big armchair and, and, and it, it, he just has such warmth and love and he makes you feel so wonderful. He could have, I felt like that it was perfect. And I so treasure knowing him now and uh, I can't wait for everybody to see Robert De Niro in this movie. Uh, it is going to be something that is beyond everybody's expectations. Working with David O. Russell, oh my goodness. Well, I fell in love with Sir David O. Russell. He is th the most brilliant man I have ever experienced. He was born to do what he's doing. Um, he would call me sometimes at 9 o'clock at night. We'd be talking until 3 o'clock in the morning, and you would think it was 10 minutes. So for me to be the inspiration to what he creates in life is, is, is something so special I can't even really describe it. Um, and at the same time, you know, here I would be talking and he would be listening, and, and I would then be listening to him because he would be just creating a whole vision that he creates off of this in his mind. So it, it was an amazing collaboration. I would think that this film is going to impact many, many women. Um, there are times where, there are always times where we go through life and we say, I don't know if I can. You know, it might be that you're juggling family with work and you know, many things, friends, you know, social, business, and we tend to say, I just can't do it all. But if you stop and you realize that you're not alone and that other people have followed a path, it may not be the exact path, but have followed that path, it gives me, and I would hope other women, that sense of, let me give that another try. Maybe I can do that. And I do believe you can. The emotion of joy has got such a multitude of facets in it. Um, you know, it was very fortunate that my name was Joy because people always assumed I would be joyous, right? Um, but, you know, that is what I strive for in life that beautiful, wonderful gift of life, of happiness. And I don't know that you really have to pay a price to get there, but life is life and, you know, you have to go through certain things and it's not always joyous. So it depends on how you absorb 
the not so joyous and what you do with them to always have that goal, which I have always had, to have that happiness in life, truly, true inner happiness. So when we talk about ambition, drive, perseverance, relentlessness, I would say that's a good description of me. <laughs> I, um, you know, I am very passionate about life, and I feel that I've seen things clearly. As a product designer, um, I am always looking at the world through product, right? So when I see there's a better way with a product for somebody, I have that vision, and I just follow that path to get there. So it's, you know, some people may define it as determination. I define it as something that comes very organic to me. I think all young girls dream various dreams of what I'm going to be when I grow up. And I as well did. And it's so funny that I always felt in my dreams that there was something grand. But it, you know, it wasn't in the form of, of being an actress or a dancer or a singer. It was, I always, you know, when I started blowing up toasters <laughs> to make them a new product, I, I, I didn't even know that it was about f making products that could help everyday life for, for anybody. And that really, now I know that that was kind of my dream. If I had to answer right away who was the most passionate person that influenced me, I would have to say it's my grandmother, Mimi. And she was so amazing. She was this little pixelated person that at a time where women didn't really work hard through the Depression, and everything, you know, she was a waitress and she worked and she came home and she cooked and she kept everything together and and she had a way about her that just was a guiding way for the family and I think that I really absorbed that a lot as a young girl and it it's taken me a long way from there it's helped me a lot Hey guys, now the trailer for my big fat Greek wedding too is already out, but did you know that despite pulling in over 240 million, the first my big fat Greek wedding never once topped the US box office chart? Hmm. Now for this and more movie facts, click on more videos, but if you want something different, click on the playlist. <laughs>